Moving right along, we have a woman who needs no introduction. Newly appointed member to the United Nations, the first senior advisor on water issues, Maud Barlow. Sisters and brothers, we're here because we care about the land, we care about the trees, we care about the wetlands, we care about justice, we care about the animals who have a right to live outside of us and our needs. We care about the future. We care about the responsibility that we have while we are stewards of this place. And don't forget, one day we will not be here. And what, will, what legacy are we going to leave behind? The Council of Canadians comes from, come from all over Canada. We've come here to Edmonton this weekend to gather to say that people across the country and across the world are deeply, deeply worried about what is taking place in the Fort McMurray area and the tar sands of northern Alberta. We are deeply, deeply concerned about what it's doing to the environment. What we saw yesterday when, on our tour were absolute dead zones. Zones where no living creature can survive. Zones where they tell us they're going to reclaim it. We saw patches where they're trying to reclaim so-called uh, virgin forest with small patches of brown grass that will not survive. We saw holding holding lakes for toxic water that if it if it leaks into the Athabasca could destroy the Athabasca for miles or kilometers and kilometers, perhaps uh, downstream as far as, as any of us can imagine. Uh, we heard about the devastation to the people living there. We heard about how the women are being treated. In so many cases, the only work there is prostitution. And we also heard about people who can only uh, work there, would not bring their children to live there, come there for two weeks, go home and try to, try to raise their family and come back. This isn't to say that the people of Fort McMurray aren't, aren't trying to uh, make a good life and aren't trying to live a decent and, and responsible life. But when they are uh, slaves, frankly, to big oil, that doesn't care about the quality of life, that doesn't care about the quality of the, in, of the environment, that doesn't care about the quality of health care they're getting. And when the, the health care workers there are being told to shut their mouths about the cancer rates or else they're going to be penalized and they're going to be sent out of the province and they're going to have people throw bottles at their, at their houses and tell their, threaten their children in school. When this is the kind of environment that this government has permitted, this government is promoting and big oil is pushing because corporations in this country, certainly in this province, now rule, and that was very, very clear to us as well, then something profoundly wrong is taking place in the, uh, in the Athabasca tar sands, and we have to stand up and say no. So we are going to stand here with the people of Fort Chip, and this is not, we really have to understand that the front line, the front line people are the people on the ground fighting this and they're, they need our help and they need our support. We're going to be here with the people of Alberta who care very deeply. I think this government is in for a rude awakening when it, people start to understand the depth and the nature yeah. of the devastation that's happening. We're going to say you cannot increase this fivefold or full, fourfold or threefold or twofold no more. No new approvals. We have to stop now. This is not an energy sustainable future. This is a death future. This is a future that rapes from the planet now so that we can continue to live a certain lifestyle for a few more years and leave our children with a legacy of a dying planet. This is not what we this is not what we were put here to do. We have to save the water. We have to save boreal forests. They're the sinkhole for the carbons, for God's sake, that we're putting up, up there. We have to save the wetlands. They're the, the kidneys of our water system. If we think that we're a people that can somehow find a substitute for water, we have a very rude awakening coming. Now this is a crossroads time in our world and there are two paths that we can go down. One is the sustainable path where we can live sustainably with the earth and each other if we make certain kinds of choices and decisions. And frankly, we know every single thing we need to know about safe water and safe energy practices and energy alternatives. What we lack is political leadership, political courage, and political leaders who won't even stop lying to us. And let me tell you, they are lying when they tell you that the tar sands are safe. They are not safe for the people there. So this is a revolution in this province, in this country, and I am telling you we will not give up until we have brought uh, economic, ecological, and human health and safety and security back to the, the people of that area and back to Alberta and back to our country. Thank you.